I'd rather try my hardest while I can than just sit on the sidelines and wait for my disease to make me weaker than I am right now. My name is Justin DeCross. I'm a fifth year electrical, uh, mechanical, engineering, and technology major. Uh, I'm graduating in May. I was born with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which is a progressive muscle weakening disease. At one point I used to walk, now I'm in a wheelchair. Duchenne muscular dystrophy diagnosis used to be basically a death sentence. Now we are really thinking of this disease more like a chronic disease where we can make an impact in quality of life. I got a trailblazer, I feel like, because just recently people have been living to like their mid-20s and 30s. Before that point, it was like a childhood disease. I'd be lucky to make it past uh, my teens. Justin is graduating from RIT in engineering, and we are all so proud of him, his family, our doctors. That day on the stage, it's going to be amazing Amazing to look at him and what he's gone through to get to where he is. We're going to have a flood of all kinds of memories coming through. This is the Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy Clinic, a strong hospital in the outpatient neurology clinic supported by the Muscular Dystrophy Association. We specialize in trying to provide the best possible care to patients with Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy from diagnosis to adulthood. So you're still able to maneuver your wheelchair, right? You're completely independent with the wheelchair and you're still very independent with computer-wise. Yes. Our pulmonologists, our cardiologists, our physical therapists know this disease very, very well. They also include an orthopedic surgeon, respiratory therapy, social worker, nurse practitioner. Okay. It really takes a village to provide the best care. We have been beyond blessed with the doctors at Strong. Dr. Shefaloni has such a heart. They are friends and they care. They care and they get the potential of these young men. They give you some hope, and there's also all these medical treatments. Just on the horizon, so keep fighting the good fight. <laughs> the sky is wide open due to best multidisciplinary care and corticosteroids use, and now other gene modifier treatments that will change the course of the disease even more. We now are having the first clinical trial that's looking at older Duchenne patients with the primary outcome being arm function. Our goals are way more ambitious than they were just a few years ago. I could stay home and do nothing, or I could go out and try to push as far as I can. Even if that always doesn't work out, I just try to live my life the best I can. Justin is a very tough fighter. He has a wonderful, supportive family. He has an incredible courage in fighting this disease that has really been a great example for me. He has taught me a lot. I was raised like anyone else, like, hey, you're going to have to grow up, get a job at some point. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Just keep pushing forward. Just because you're in a wheelchair doesn't mean that life's over. Justin is a great example of what character is. We have three boys. The oldest is Justin. And then there's Brandon and Kenton. I have a middle brother that has Duchenne, just like I do. So trying to be a role model for him kind of gives me like a purpose. We're making uh, parchment paper fish. It's kind of like steaming. Mushrooms first and then what? Ginger and garlic. Justin said half, not chopped. I just like cooking. And Justin does too. Justin has two sous chefs. Assistant chefs. You're the main chef. I find cooking with people fascinating. I think it's relaxing. I think there's something special there. Mm -hmm. I joined the fraternity. Hi, Justin. Hello. Hello. Open bar. Uh, I get to hang out with a bunch of people my own age. It put me way out of my comfort zone. How you doing? Justin yeah. is my man. I love him, and the hairstyle is fantastic. Thank you. They're accepting. Still, there's kind of a big gap between me and someone that can walk. I try to act like everyone else, but uh, it's hard. For any student, graduating with their four-year degree is a pretty big deal and for students who have had to work so much harder than others. It's um, quite an accomplishment. First thing I want to do after I graduate is find a job. Getting through the hiring process might be a little bit of a challenge. A while ago I had a phone interview. It's kind of hard to relay, like it's hard for me to talk on the phone when I have an event when they can't even see me. Potential employers you know, they see that wheelchair and it's like, okay, what do I have to 
make happen to allow him to be my employee? What is it going to do to me? The community shouldn't be scared of him being in a wheelchair or having a ventilator. This is the young man that can offer a lot to any firm who will hire him. Give him an interview. He deserves it. <laughs> see past the wheelchair. See past the limitations to see the benefit of what they would be getting. I feel like it's something that I can't uh, overcome and achieve my goals. After I graduate school, there's a whole world of possibilities I'd like to try to explore. Ta-da! Jacob! <laughs> Justin Hugh DeCross.